In GameStop today, me handing a copy of Mortal Kombat to the sales assistant. Sales guy looks down at the game and then up at me, mouth agape. Wow, you don't look like the type I usually sell this game to. Ha <laughs> ha. Me, is that a bad thing or him? Oh no, definitely not. You're a true gamer girl, not a fake wannabe. I think it's cool. Me uncontrollably smiling at this point. Thanks, I've never had anyone say that to me before. The guy hands me the game and as I go to pay, he stops me. Don't worry, free of charge. By the way, when you get home, open the game right away. So not only did I get a free copy of Mortal Kombat, when I opened the box, there was a piece of paper with his number along with the disc. So yeah, best experience ever. I really want that to be true. It makes me sad. I really hope it is, but it probably isn't. <laughs> oh, like I always picture people writing these things and like it just makes me sad because they want this to happen so bad or they're just trying to get likes or retweets or reblogs on Tumblr or whatever. Hey, would you look at that? I don't feel bad anymore. All right, let's read some lies. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. Your support means everything to me. We're checking out some more lies today and I could not be more excited. The people that just want attention, the people that want to be seen as a badass, the people that want everybody to think that they're a genius. We're going to see it all today. It's going to be good. I'm having a really good day today and I really hope you are as well. We just hit 55,000 subscribers, which is nuts. I can't even picture that many people. Like if you told me to think about 55,000 people, I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> like, that's insane. So thank you for helping me reach that milestone. I really appreciate it. Let's go. Let's read some lies. This one's a comment on a video of the Mario Kart music. No lie. When I passed my driver's test, I put Coconut Mall on my speaker and the whole DMV started dancing and vibing. Even the DMV employees. Sorry, but all I can think about right now is Patty and Selma. Patty and Selma just got promoted at the DMV. That was the best time to use this. The employees didn't ever and get mad at me. Everybody was laughing and having fun. Best way to get my license. Yeah, I've got a feeling that isn't true because just knowing people and knowing that if you just went into a DMV with an entire room of people that don't want to be there and then you start playing Mario Kart music, yeah, something tells me that they're not going to enjoy that. Last night I ordered a pizza with pepperoni, mushrooms, olives, onions and peppers and this is how it arrived. Maybe that happened but you'd imagine that if somebody worked at a pizza shop, they'd understand that this isn't what you meant and it still tastes fine. The olive slices might be a little bit strong. Do you reckon that actually happened or do you think this person just asked for that with this post in mind? They were like, okay, if I ask for it like this, I can make this post and put it on Reddit. I can get likes and awards. Yay. Oh, I have actual insight on this. Not me, but friends of mine who were missionaries in the Amazon in Brazil. You already know that this is a lie. And they came across a tribe that had no music. I don't know the name of the tribe. Well, one of my friends had brought their violin and and was playing it. Some of my friends were talking to some villagers and the whole village suddenly grew quiet. Some had tears in their eyes just sitting in awe. They had to stop so that the villagers would sleep. Otherwise they would have stayed up for I don't know how long just listening to it. And so many people like that. <laughs> oh God. You know, like some friends of mine that were friends of their friends and their auntie, uncles, brothers, sisters, daughters. Yeah, they went to this place and introduced music to people. Yeah, you know what? Probably not. That's what this subreddit should be called. <laughs> Probably not. So I'm fighting the ticket and we're in court and the cop is on the stand and I say, I saw your car half a mile up the road. Why would I speed if I saw you sitting there? And he says, I don't know. I tell him that the ticket claims I was doing 85, but my car doesn't do 85. It's just an old junket that I'm lucky if I can get to 65 and not shake all over the place. He says, you were doing 85. And I say, how do you even know since you were on the phone the whole time? The jury all gasps. He says, I I wasn't on the phone and I say that's not what your phone records show and I pull out his phone records I got it and it shows he was on the phone with his girlfriend at the exact time that I drove by. The jury gasp again. I see a lady in the audience crying. It's his wife. He just starts stuttering. The jury says not guilty and people in the audience clap. I've beaten the system again. I saw the cop outside the courtroom arguing with his wife. They got divorced. She was hot <laughs> I hooked up with 
with her. <laughs> I hooked up with her and we were at a club a month later and saw him there. I could tell he was crying. I win again. <laughs> Sometimes on this subreddit, I can't actually tell if they're lying or not. But in this case, I am dead certain. That's the biggest load of crap I've ever read in my entire life. I totally beat the court case and then I hooked up with his wife. What are you saying? Were you just jotting down notes when you were watching a movie last night? You're not fooling anyone, dude. I was sitting in a medical gown and the male doctor walked in, greeted my male fiance and asked about the reason for our visit. I stood up, my gown falling open to reveal my nakedness, extended my hand and said, good afternoon. I'm here to have some moles removed and you have one chance to correct that lovely dose of everyday misogyny before I make a scene. The doctor swallowed hard and looked back at my fiance. I cleared my throat as my fiance tipped his head towards me. The doctor apologized pretty damn quick. I think we need to read the top comment. He swallowed hard, staring at my triple H breasts as they bounced breastily with rage. I had reached the zenith of my anger as he felt from my ice cold stare. His hands trembled as he stood mouth agape while I snapped at him. You have one chance to correct your misogyny. My eyes flickered a shade of red. Normally they change colors throughout the day based on my mood. Haha, <laughs> I'm so quirky. And the doctor spluttered what sounded like some kind of half assed apology, while my husband stared in awe at the utter force of the woman he'd married. In the doorway, I could see nurses clapping as my breasts heaved back in place. I had moved so fast they were like a pendulum on a grandfather clock that my grandfather used to own. I could still smell the farm he lived on when I thought about him. I quickly snapped back to reality when I saw that both the doctor and my husband now had erections. <laughs> I was in charge now. As the room echoed with cheers from the nurses' station outside of the room, I pressed a hand to my cheek and realized I had been crying. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. That was way better than the actual post. That's so good. Well done. But yeah, please stop lying. It's so obvious. Today in Starbucks, when I placed my order, I gave my name as Alpharius. As a joke, when they called my name to pick up my order, I stood up and yelled, I am Alf. Is it Alpharius or Alpha Alpharius? Nah, it's got to be Alpharius. Alpharius? Everyone turned to look at me. Then an old man sitting in the corner stood up and yelled, No, I'm Alpharius. Then one by one, everyone in the Starbucks stood up and yelled, I am Alpharius. Today's gonna be a good day. Yeah, it really is because we're laughing at your lies. Everyone in Starbucks just got up and said that, did they? Also, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it properly. I tried to Google it, but it didn't come up. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are used to me not being able to pronounce stuff. But yeah, that didn't happen, did it, bud? And it's really not believable. I don't know why someone would try and make up a lie like this that so obviously didn't happen. One time a teacher gave me a D on an assignment, so I accidentally forgot to wear a bra. And after class, he let me know he got my grade mixed up, but it was actually an A. Ended up forgetting to be fully clothed every time we had a test and got 100 for the semester. What, because your teacher's a total perv? What are you talking about? Are you saying that you didn't wear a bra and because you didn't wear a bra, your teacher gave you better marks? That's really gross and really cringy and I don't think it happened. What's actually the point of that lie? My teacher's gross and he checks me out and I get better marks when I don't wear a bra. Ew! I was on a train in Spain when the news of Dr. Seuss's death was announced. Our whole car started singing the one fish, two fish verse in at least four different languages. Oh yeah, and then you all got up and did a musical, didn't you? And you recorded it, and you're a genius, and you're smart, and you're amazing, and beautiful. I barely even know what to say about these sorts of posts. Why do you feel like you need to lie about everything? And especially lies like this that aren't very impressive, you know? It's like, oh cool, moving on. <laughs> the first time I saw Beyonce was in the elevator of my building. My dad was talking to her. She said, you really don't know who I am? He said, wait, you seriously don't know who I am? She was dying. And she invited us to her 21st birthday party that night. There's no way Beyonce would ever say that. Wait, you don't know who I am? She's not like some actor that you've only seen one time. She would know that she was super famous. And the way that was written just makes it seem like Beyonce was just wandering around on her own somewhere. Just like found Beyonce in an elevator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they just really look like Beyonce. Or you're a liar. A female boss once said to me, I thought I hired someone with a brain as she stood at my desk. I just smiled. She said, why are you smiling? I said, I've been insulted better than that by my own mother. She retired not long after that. Just because you said that, you think that's why she retired. Are you insane? I bet you none of this happened. Either that or it did happen and she did retire. Obviously, she's not going to retire just because you said that, dude. Oh, people are so 
frustrating. Lol, well, dude in Target tried to get tough with me when I took his parking spot. He said he was in the army and could kick my ass. And I told him I was one of the SEALs who killed Bin Laden. And he ran away fast as hell. And people were cheering in the parking lot. Oh my god, I'm out of here, guys. The lies are getting to me today. My brain doesn't even work properly after today's video. I don't know who I am. I don't know what my name is. I don't know where I am. I ran out of brain cells. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash like and make sure you subscribe. That'd be very, very cool. And let's do the comment of the day. A very small brownie. Definitely not me both losing and gaining faith in humanity at the same time while drawing. Losing and gaining faith in humanity while you draw? That sounds like a perfect day. All right, guys, thank you for everything you do. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Twitter and Instagram if you would like to. And guess what? I'll see you tomorrow, guys. I'm very excited. I have a whole bunch of fun videos planned. And I'm just excited for the future. It's very bright. All right, look after yourself, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.